Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. My name's JD, I'm one of our social media and content creators here at VMP. So today, we've got a really awesome opportunity. A good customer of ours, Jay Goodwin, has brought us his Mustang, and this Mustang has got a Roush supercharger kit on it. He's already purchased our Roush power package, so this car's got a twin jet 67 on it, TW95 pound injectors, a 79 millimeter pulley for about 12 pounds of boost, and a fuel pump voltage booster, and of course, topped off with our VMP custom calibration for a Roush setup. We're gonna take this car Car, get it up on the dyno for a baseline figure, and then we're swapping to the Gen 3R. The cool thing here is you're going to see the direct difference between the Roush supercharger, the 2.3 that's currently on the car, and a VMP Gen 3R, the 2.65 liter blower. We're not going to change anything. Same cold air intake, same throttle body, same injectors, fuel pump booster, even down to the same calibration in the car. So let's get this thing up for some baseline numbers and get started. Now that the guys in the shop have finished up with the Gen 3R installation, we're ready to get it back up on the dyno. I just wanted to point out that we've pulled it to be approximately the same amount of boost as the 2.3, the, the Roush blower that was on the car uh, was a 79, made about 12 PSI peak. We're using the 88, or now called the 3.4, on the Gen 3R, which is gonna make about 12 PSI peak. We're utilizing the exact same throttle body, the TJ67, the same closed box Roush cold air intake, and the exact same injectors. And like I said before, it's the exact same tune file. There's been no adjustments, none of that's been done. We just want to see raw difference of blower to blower. So let's get this car up on the dyno and see what it does. There you have it. The car made a very healthy 656 real world horsepower with the Roush kit and the VMP power package for Roush blowers. Swapping to the Gen 3R, the car picked up 70 wheel horsepower and made 726 real world horsepower. That is a head unit swap alone. Again, all the same parts that were on the car, even down to the same calibration, the car picked up that much power. So if you're interested in something like this, be sure to give us a call at the shop or visit vmpperformance.com and uh, definitely stay tuned because we're not done. We're gonna do a little bit more to this car and show you what that added headroom I just mentioned looks like. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you again in the next video.